or minutes for Greg Smith. Thank you, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker. It's a pleasure to follow uh, my honourable friend for Newcastle underline what was a powerful and thoughtful contribution. I want to start uh, to bringing up a number of issues of all things rail. We know that rail numbers are down by a fifth uh, since the pandemic, uh, and yet the government persists in building High Speed 2, a topic on which I have spoken in opposition on multiple occasions since my uh, election uh, to this House. And indeed, it's very good to see my honourable friend uh, on the front bench, uh, who was indeed with me in the lobby the other day uh, when we voted against uh, HS2 going uh, further north. But the reality is on the ground, accepting that the thing is being built, that they continue to be anything but a good neighbour. I have spoken in the Transport Select Committee, I have spoken in this chamber, I have spoken in Westminster Hall, giving countless examples of where they are making people's lives a misery. They are bringing in uh, HGV movements through villages where they simply shouldn't be going. They are closing roads at a moment's notice. They are not dealing with landowners in a fair or proportionate way when they take their land and the latest a uh, complaint to reach me over the last 24 hours is land that HS2 has taken but done nothing with where poisonous weeds such as ragwort are allowing uh, to take hold uh, and bleed across as seed moves into land where there are cattle and sheep and animals that can be affected by it. HS2 have been appraised of this time and time again and yet they have done nothing. So I urge the government to clamp down on HS2 Limited uh, and to ensure that they actually do become the good neighbours that they purport to be. Uh, likewise, the construction of East West Rail continues to be a nightmare uh, for my constituents. It is the railway we do want. It is going to bring greater connectivity to Buckinghamshire with a new station at Winslow, uh, but the construction of it brings similar misery to that of High Speed 2. Uh, and to boot, East West Rail, it looks like, will launch with an entirely diesel rolling stock, which I urge the government to urgently reconsider to look at hybrid options instead, or hydrogen or one of the newer green technologies, because it is simply preposterous in this day and age for a new railway to be built with diesel-only rolling stock. Uh, and likewise, I, I urge the, the government uh, to give us some clarity. There has been some speculation in recent days that perhaps the whole uh, of East West Rail will not be completed. The, uh, the, the part of it that goes beyond Bletchley towards Cambridge may not be built. I think we need urgent clarity uh, on that uh, to this House when we return in the autumn. Moving to a planning matter, uh, the Ministry of Justice had proposed building a mega prison in my constituency adjacent to HMP Grendon and HMP Springhill on land that they partially own, but also that would involve the compulsory purchase of a farm. Uh, Buckinghamshire Council Strategic Sites Committee, very wisely in my view, rejected it. It wasn't a technical rejection uh, planning. It, uh, in fact, breached uh, policies BE1, BE2, I2, NE1, NE4, NE5, S1 of the local plan, as well as paragraph 7, 8, 57, uh, 58, 99, 105, 174, 180, and section 16 of the NPPF. It was by no means a technical uh, refusal. Yet, unfortunately, the Ministry of Justice are seeking to appeal that and cost taxpayers uh, probably hundreds of thousands of pounds uh, in uh, legal fees. It is simply not right or fair that that project continues uh, to hang over my constituency to the villages of Edgecock, Grendon, Underwood, Steeple, Clayton, and others. Uh, around, and I would urge uh, the government to reconsider it and pull that appeal. Yeah. 